brought to you by 5 Kilobyte Productions. Although this file isn't really 5 kilobytes, this is the Cassette Master again. That should improve things just a little bit. Anyway, I think it's about time we do another uh, tape recorder demonstration. We have a very special little real real tape recorder. I've been seeing comments made by Russ Philly, and he makes quite a few. And I was cracking up because, you know, the style of his comments and everything. And he he said he wanted to see another real to real tape recorder video. So I think, you know what, I'm going to do it. Because I have a real to real tape recorder video. I don't have a video of it uploaded yet. I did make a video of it on the cell phone from whenever I first got it. And I may upload that at some point. But I am going to make a, uh, you know, uh, camera captured composite video type video of this thing. And it... I have a warning. It is rim drive. But of course one of the things we need to do first is start up the security camera. Because everyone you know these days wants to be safe and secure. So let's go to the other input here and let's try to focus up some things if we freaking can. Oh dear. As you can clearly see, my workbench is a nightmare because this is a little bit of space we have able to work with right here. And then we have all kinds of crap strewn along the workbench. So I don't have much space to work with. And I got so much crap in my room everywhere and very little walking space on the floor literally that you know I don't have much of a place to put all the crap on my workbench so it goes to show I am a hoarder and I have too much crap and I need it it's I'd like to clear up some space but I don't really have much of a place to put it on I just have to probably throw a lot of stuff in a box or something I think I may have found a fix for the brightness issue. At least it's fixed the best I can. Actually, it's not necessarily fixed. I tried turning the level control down all the way on the camera. A little trimmer on the back. Let's do a couple battery measurements. Because our recorder uses two C's and nine volt. That's good. That's okay. Basically, the only fix I had to do on this reel-to-reel -reel recorder was uh, cleaning, lubrication, and soldering on a new battery connector. Because the other one, a wire was gone from corrosion. Or not a wire, but an actual uh, snap connector itself was gone from corrosion. This is the Ross Mark 55. Missing the battery cover and the top cover. Got from an eight an estate sale in January 2015. The speaker doubles as a microphone and is hard wired. Wrong side. More like it. Let's see if by chance this reel has any uh, tape I can record on. This contains recordings I have made on this recorder. The following is a recording of my friend Stefan. This recording was made with the speaker resting in, in the case. I took it out of the case and recording music that played up. The tale of power and the man, aka He-Man. Sometimes I get in 
my own way, I need someone to say, hey, what are you thinking? Thank you very much. This is my friend Michael Green. This was an attempt to record music with hooking up the output um, from the computer directly to the uh, speaker terminals in the speaker to mimic a direct connection. Frequency response is very poor. Just a Rio stat. No regulation. Oh dear. Rim drive. Since I don't care very much about that heavy metal recording, I'm going to make a recording on this recorder right now with the volume at mid position. I am recording on this uh, rim drive reel, reel tape recorder, and we will see how this comes out. So you see. We rewind the tape recorder, and then um, we will be doing a playback shortly. Thank you, and good evening. 
Now let's play back. I shook you. This is a rim drive tape recorder. I am recording on this uh, rim drive uh, real tape recorder, and we will see how this comes out. Do you see? Hope you enjoyed the video of the Ross Mark 55 rim drive reel to reel tape recorder from the 1960s five transistor and DC bias. Then with permanent magnet erase, I think. Let me make sure. Yes, permanent magnet erase. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Thank you.